chocolate? I had no chocolate. <laughs> Did you have any chocolate, Jules? No? Did you have any chocolate? You had chocolate, huh? <laughs> oh, where's his leg? Oops, it's his arm. His arm came off. There's his leg. His leg came off. There's his leg. Put his leg back on. <laughs> Who are your grandparents? John. Franklin Wagoner and Almeida Ashley Wagoner. Fabulous, wonderful people who nourished and nurtured me into making me appreciate life and who I could be. My father's parents, grandmother and grandfather. They were, uh, my grandfather died when I was very, very small, so I never really knew him. He held me once. And my grandmother died when I was 14, but uh, she was a piano teacher. And uh, I'm sure that I got some of my appreciation for music from her. Yes. Eleanor and E. Woodley. He was Edward, and that's where I got my name, Edward Woodley, Kalehoff. What did my grandparents teach you about how to be a grandparent? Oh, well, I think all of them, um, Beatrice and uh, Norberry Brown and Dot Dot and E. Woodley Kalehoff all taught me how to nurture the children. Uh, Dottie has 26 now that she's a grand, great grandparent to. Um, it uh, was a very good lesson, I think, uh, on, on how to take care of the kids, do everything we can to help them achieve in life what they want to be. So there's, there's your first grandchild. What did you think when you first became a grandparent? Oh, well, it's one of the best experiences to have the little shavers to share your life with. And I hope to eventually spend more and more time with them as they get older. And, uh, you know, the old grandparent line, I get to spoil them and then send them back to mommy and daddy. What's the matter? Oh, sweet boogie. What kind of grandparent would you like to be? I'd like to be an effective, fair, honest person that can help the kids learn about the world they're inheriting from us and uh, do my best to give them a world that's uh, worth inheriting. That's very important that we pass on a safe, clean, and uh, manageable world so they can have a good life. That's very important. What would you like to do with your grandkids in your lifetime? Uh, show them the world and share with them uh, my music and my uh, abilities to uh, sail a boat. I think uh, when I learned to sail, it opened up the entire, uh, the entire reason this ball of mud we all live on, uh, how it functions in the solar system. And I, I'd like to share that with my grandkids.